Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the jungle. Welcome to the show. We are a month in to our franchise, and it's time to go over a few things. As you can see here, the Miami Marlins are back somehow. Man, I don't know how the Marlins are doing this. It's like they code something into a game where they're like the real Marlins, just like unpredictable. And the things they do just make no sense. So and we're only a month in, I understand, but we're, uh, we're uh, actually a little over a month in. Not exactly a month in. I, I don't know why. I'm I just, just waking up. I'm thinking it's 41 games instead of 31. But it's, we're exactly a month in, and the uh, Marlins are 21-10. And the and thing about the Marlins, I was watching them very closely in the offseason. They lost their top three um, – Three, I think literally their top three players in free agency besides um, Alcantara. They lost um, Yuri Perez, uh, uh, Jackson Churio, I think his name is, and um, and there was another guy, I can't remember, another batter, I can't remember who it was, but they were all over 85 overall. They were literally the top three free agents after I signed Jackson Holiday. But they're, they're better than us. They're, they're three games ahead of us right now somehow. But um, let's go over, uh, We as you can see, we went 18 and 13. There's the results. Let's go down the line. Ronald Acuna Jr. is having a typical Ronald Acuna year. High average, high OBP, high OPS. Uh, Jackson Holiday, it hasn't been great. I admit he struggled. He is hitting 181, six homers, 15 RBIs, 14 walks, 33 strikeouts. This hasn't been a good year, but he's still in a positive war because of his defense. Hasn't made any errors, but I, I'm sure the bat, the bat has to come around. I mean, he has a 98 contact against lefty, 71 against righties. The bat's going to come around. I'm not worried about it at all. He's just off to a slow start. Jason Dominguez has been uh, gangbusters lately. Like, uh, this just speaks for itself. He's like, him and Ronald Cunha are like our best players. Uh, Austin Riley. Um, this guy is, I've never seen a batter more streaky than Austin Riley. He was uh, hitting like 400 for the first couple of weeks. Then he hit like 100, and now he's down to 250. Um, and, uh, yeah, I, I don't know what's going on with that guy. He, he's just never consistent. Uh, William Contreras, um, he, this guy is like consistent 300 hitter. Um, oops. Ozzy Albies um, hitting 375, four home runs, 15 RBIs. Having another tremendous year. Uh, Michael Harris um, got off to a really fast start, and he's picked it back up lately. Uh, six homers, 22 RBIs. Uh, yeah, like this guy is two-tenths of a percentage point away from matching his war from last year already. And that was 158 games. He's only played 22 games. Think about that shit. Christopher Marquez, uh, just too small of a sample size to make any kind of judgment. Uh, Joey Weimer, um, I just, just, I just can't hit with this guy. I, I want to try Peter uh, Yamamoto, but we lose the defense, and I don't know. I like Weimer's defense. I'm gonna leave him in there for now. Uh, pitching, uh, Spencer Strider, it's been a struggle. Like this guy has dropped three overall points. He was a 98 coming into the year. His ratings are dropping. He's gonna have a ton of hits. Uh, high ERA, but he started out like this before, and he's turned it around. So I'm not worried just yet. Grayson Rodriguez, really high ERA, same story, ton of strikeouts. Uh, Tristan McKenzie is uh, probably our best pitcher right now. Feliz, high ERA. Brock Porter, a lot of strikeouts, but, uh, you know, it's, I don't know. He, uh, Brock Porter finished second in the Cy Young voting last year, funny enough, with a 407 ERA. Uh, I don't know how these numbers are Cy Young level. Like, this game places way too much emphasis on wins, I think. Which doesn't surprise me. This game is so archaic. But uh, Shelby Norton, uh, yeah, ton of strikeouts, high ERA. Everybody's got a high fucking ERA. Let's just say that. Everybody's got a high ERA. It hasn't been ideal. The pitching hasn't been great. This kind of pissing me off. But, um, you know, uh, they'll turn it around. They better turn it around or they won't be here. But, uh, yeah, we uh, we got the ratings. We got to turn it around. I'm not worried about this team. 18-13, I just have a winning record. And after the, after the first month, and we're, we're right in there. We should be taking first place here pretty soon. I'm thinking we may play the Marlins pretty soon. Yeah, end of the month. Uh, then we turn it around, go back to Miami at the end of the month after that. So, yeah, uh, things are going great. I can't complain. The budget is not great, but, you know, it is what it is. We can uh, figure some things out. Uh, I can uh, I can make some moves if we need to clear up some dollars. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to go into this. Um, that's the first month, 18-13. Jackson Holiday struggling, pitching struggling, but we're right there, and we will continue to be right there. And at the end of the year, I'm sure we'll separate ourselves from the pack. Thanks for watching.